Okay, this week we're doing exactly what cocaine and crack are. From the Sai Elio Brazilian Dermatology website. I'll give you the address below here. It's a long one. Uh, cocaine is an alkaloid, which is a chemical compound containing nitrogen, carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen obtained from erythrium coca leaves. Erythrolexium. We'll put that in there for you too. <laughs> it's a native plant in uh, Andean countries such as Peru, Colombia, and Bolivia. Uh, out of over 200 species, erythro. Er, let me try to say this. Erythro. Erythro. Oxalium. Oxalum. Erythro oxalum. The production process initially involves pressing the leaves along with an organic solvent. The resulting uh, paste, which is 80% cocaine, is then treated with hydrochloric acid in order to remove impurities. This process, this, oops, there you go. this produces a white crystalline powder, cocaine hydrochloride, known by a wide variety of names such as Brillo, Powder, Bird, Pagoda, Billions, Snow, Squib, and White Devil. Uh, since it is water soluble, it can be eaten, chewed, snorted, snorted or injected. It is vulnerable to py uh, pyrolo pyrolosis, so smoking cocaine in cigarettes produces little or no euphor euphorogenic effect. Mm. I'm really testing my tongue today, are we? Yeah. Uh, anyway, during the 1980s, another form of cocaine was introduced on the market and obtained by dissolving cocaine hydrochloride in water and adding an alkali, usually baking soda, to the solution. Once heated, the solution crystallizes forming cocaine rocks, known as crack, which vaporize at low temperatures and are more appropriate for smoking. The name crack is onomatopoeic. Lots of big words today. We'll spell that underneath for you too and refers to the sound produced by the boiling of the hydric comp uh, components of the rocks when heated. So that's where the name crack comes from. It actually cracks when you heat it. Since it is not, since it is not soluble in water, this cocaine base is not appropriate for ingestion, inhalation, or injection. Only smoking. Crack reduces a high concentration of cocaine at relatively low prices, making it extremely popular among low-income users. A cheap high. It is rarely absorbed in uh, the lungs alveoli and therefore produces a euphorogenic sensation almost immediately. See? There's no magic. There's no demons. Just chemicals. Addicts out of control need help, not jail time. There's no mystery here. For fuck's sakes, they even jail people for addictions to medications that those hypocrites hooked them on in the first place. Anyway, that's the facts, Jack. Alrighty then, here's some funny pictures that aren't pot related, but I like them anyway. This first one is the funniest and sexiest combination for body paint I've ever seen. And as you uh, already know, I've seen some really great ones. And I can't say this enough, she's got really big beautiful um, eyes. <laughs> anyway, the second one is definitely music related. I don't know where it's from, but at least they had a sense of humor. Hey, I wonder uh, what's up that stairway to heaven? A brothel? A bar? Maybe a weed dealer? <laughs> ah, it's probably a fitness center. Cruel bastards. This next one is a baseball mask for Halloween. It would freak me right fucking out if I was high. They'd probably end up arresting me for trying to hit a home run with his head. This next one is a great idea for horse blinders. Man, I keep trying to ask it what it was looking at. <laughs> anyway, unfortunately, a lot of uh, other people are wearing these too when they prejudge some stoners. Uh, this next one's kind of cool, and bang, fuck it on too. Hey, fuck nuts, stop arresting stoners just because we have more fun than you. Yeah, jealous, self-serving, hypo hypocritical fucks. Uh -huh. Anyway. Control yourself. I can't strangle a camera. It's a good thing. Yeah, well, fucking right I can. 
Or you hypocrites, stop arresting us and stop judging us. You... This last picture is, a, is of some pretty funny bed sheets. I guess a wife can't really complain about a boring sex life. So what happens if you lose? Do you have to keep playing with yourself? <laughs> Looks like there's lots of room for neighbors there. Yes. Anyway, that's that for that. Okay, it's time for some marijuana facts. Okay, this time it's also a bit of a warning too. It's about grit weed. You can go to gritweed.co.uk. I'll put it down for you uh, for even more info. Basically, it's a bunch of assholes that feel they need to spike the weed with glass, sand, sugar, or whatever tickles their fucking fancies. If you see a whitish kind of coating on your weed, and if you put it over a mirror or CD and uh, see flakes coming out of it, get pissed off. Because those fuckers are poisoning you. And uh, it's a war on drugs' fault, by the way, that the citizens are being poisoned and ripped off. I thought governments were supposed to help their constituents, not harm them. It must still be a remnants from uh, monarchy days or something. Apparently, government leaders still think they can do whatever the fuck they want. Okay. Here's a clip from YouTube about it. But due to a communication breakdown in the Welsh Assembly government, not in Wales, it warned of potentially lethal contaminated cannabis that's flooded illegal drugs markets across Wales. It's been cut with glass, sand and quartz by criminal gangs said to be in Holland. Pro-cannabis activists say it's been caused by a police clampdown on British cannabis factories. See, the more the government's hurt pot growers, the more some of those pricks hurt us. And we're just the innocent on smokers, casualties of the drug war, collateral damage. Okay, here's another website link, because there's so fucking many of them, like holy shit. Okay, for this show we're visiting the THC Ministries. According to Wikipedia, the THC ministry was founded by Roger Christie from the Religion of Jesus Christ. It's a religion which considers cannabis to be a sacrament. Members base their practices on what they see as an eclectic mixture of ancient wisdom, modern science, and the enlightening and healing properties of cannabis sacrament. See, not all religious people are bad, necessarily. Its mission includes liberating the cannabis hemp plant and the minds of those who do and those who do not revere it and is actively involved in the legal and social discussions surrounding cannabis use in society. Come check it out. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Almond Joy's got nuts, mounds don't. Almond Joy's got real milk chocolate, coconut and munchy nuts too. Mounds got deep dark chocolate and chewy coconut. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Peter Paul, I'm enjoy that nuts. Peter Paul, mounds don't. Because sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. We're on a mission from God. Now here's some more quick links to uh, other related sites. Search for the Green Faith Ministry. It's a cannabis uh, sacrament medicine kind of church recognized by the states, uh, uh, different states. Uh, Free Life Ministry uh, Church of Canthi, uh, home church of Austin, Texas, who recognizes cannabis as a holy sacrament. There's ULC Headquarters, the Ministry of Cannabis. Okay, there you go. Don't say we never gave you anything. And uh, anti-drug ads say that stoners don't have a prayer. <laughs> well, obviously we do. And that's that for that. <laughs>